Hi, today we're doing section 4-2, Relations and Functions. In the earlier lesson, we looked at graphing relationships and talked about continuous and discrete graphs. So today we're going to be looking at relations and functions and how those relate, and then graphing those also. So remember to take some now to write notes on. Pause the video at any time and go back and look at anything you need to revisit. And complete the check it out problems on the worksheet after you see the examples. We have two learning targets today. The first one, I can identify functions. And the second one, I can find the domain and range of relations and functions. So you may be asking, what's a relation? Domain, range, or function. We're going to look at all of those terms today. So relationships can also be represented by a set of ordered pairs called a relation. So we looked at relationships in 4.1, and now we're going to look at um, a set of ordered pairs, and those are called a relation. We can also show relations in other ways besides an ordered pair. We can write them as a table, graph them, or as a mapping diagram. And you're going to look at all four of those ways of showing relation. The domain is a set of, all of the first coordinates of the ordered pair, or the x values, and the range is going to be the second set of coordinates or your y values of your ordered pair. Now we talk about functions, we'll see more of these later. A function is a special relation that pairs each domain with exactly one range value. So each x has only one y. And in case you've forgotten what an ordered pair is, it's written in the written as x, y. We'll do more of this today. So here, this example, we want to express the relation. We have the ordered pair 2, 3, 4, 7, and 6, 8 as a table, as a graph, and as a mapping diagram. Okay, so remember, our ordered pairs are always listed x, y. You can remember this because it's alphabetical. x, y, and x, y. So first, look at the table. We list our x-coordinates under the x column and our y-coordinates on the y. Reading across the table, we can make sure and check, yep, 2, 3 is an ordered pair, 4, 7 is an ordered pair, and 6, 8 is an ordered pair. It's a good way to verify it. That's the table. To graph, we plot the points. Again, our x-coordinates are on, we start down on the horizontal axis. We go up 2. We go over to 2, then go up 3 to plot that point. Next one is at 4, 7, we plot that point. And then we have one at 6, 8. And we don't connect these dots because these are the specific ordered pairs. We only have three ordered pairs on this graph. So this is also a discrete graph. Graph is going to be discrete. A mapping diagram is just what it says. Map our x-coordinates to our y-coordinates. So we list our x-coordinates out, and then we have the 2 Map to 3, 4 to 7, and 6 to 8. And now it is your turn to do the same thing. You have three ordered pairs. Express them as a in a table, as a graph, and as a mapping diagram. Now we're going to find the domain and range of this relation here. Again, domain is in terms of the x values. What can x be? And range is in terms of the y values. Okay, so to identify our domain, we're looking at what size can x be? So we have x going from 1, continues along, until 5. So our range is written as an inequality, compound inequality, which we worked on our earlier unit. So we write it as the domain, capital D, and the colon, and it includes all the numbers from 1 up to 5, with our two endpoints being included in those. Our range, we're looking at y. Y is here at 4, and then it stops here at 3. So our range is going to be inclusive of our two endpoints, 3 and 4. So 3 is less than or equal to Y, is less than or equal to 4. Keep in mind that as you're talking domain and range, our range is in terms of Y, and our, X is in our domain is in terms of X. So that's very important to make sure your domain and range are written properly. And now it's your turn. You 
give the domain and range of this relation, and the one in the table for this one. So now we want to give, this is our last example, give the domain and range of the relation and tell whether the relation is a function, and if so, explain. So a function again, is a special relation between um, our x and y. And it's for each x, there's exactly one y. So let's look at the first example we have here. We've got three examples. Let's take, take a look at a. And our x's, we have 3 to negative 2, 5 to negative 1, 4 to 0, and 3 to 1. So you want to look at does each of our um, x's have exactly one y. We have a 3 here and a 3 here, and they have different y's. So in this case, our first example is no, it's not a relation. Let's take a look at example B now. This is a mapping diagram, and so a nice thing with the mapping diagram, we can see that each of these x's map to a unique y. Had you written a, rewrote a in the mapping diagram, you would see that 3 would have gone to the same number. So that's why a was not a function. b is a function. So again, a function is where you have each x value maps to exactly one y value, as in b. Now c is our last example we're going to look at. We have a parallelogram here. And looking at that, our x and y values, um, nearly, all, nearly all of the domain of the x values have more than one range value. And if you, I don't know if you remember, since before vertical line, because we draw, we were draw a line going down, this vertical line crosses our graph in more than one place, so therefore it will not be a function because each x value has more than one y value. So again, a, to be a function, your x value must have exactly, exactly one y value. Any more than, if it has more than one y, it is not a function. And again, if it's a graph, draw a vertical line going down that crosses your graph in more than one place, then it's not a function. Here's your checkout. You've got a set of ordered pairs. See if it's a function or not, and your mapping diagram. Again, the ordered pairs, you can always turn them into a mapping diagram and see what it looks like. That's easier. So to summarize this, there are four different ways relations are, are represented. List of ordered pairs, table format, as a graph, or in a mapping diagram. Make sure you're able to do all four of those, express them in all four of those ways. Again, domain, x values, the range, or our y values. If you notice throughout, we use brackets when there's a limited or finite number of values in the domain or range. And then we also, a function, this is what we're talking about, we, this is very important to be using this uh, throughout the rest of the lesson, is a special relation that pairs each domain or x value with exactly one range or y value. And x can only have one y value to be a function. And just things to remember, Ordered pairs are x, y. Is there anything about this? It looks alphabetical. x comes before y. And domain is also um, x values, y values, and that's also alphabetical. So just some ways to help you remember. Bring any questions to class?